Take a close look. Yeah, but much closer than that. Take a real close look. You begin to see why. There's much more to white, much more than can ever meet the eye. Like, look over there, there. You see that white? <laughs> sure looks for sure like the white that's called pure, but it isn't, not at all. That's an off-white white. Sorry, just doesn't quite measure up, falls short. Absolutely pure, pure white is just a dream of a dream. Even now, if you close your eyes tight and let your brain go to where it's whiter than snow, you'll see, you'll know. The whitest white that white can be white, as imagined by you, imagined by me, as the purest of pure, pure white, is just a little bit off, just a little bit off. White, off white, white, off white, white. If there's an absolute white, and there is, and if there's an absolute black, and there is, then it follows. That there must be an absolute gray, and there is. Absolute gray is the perfect gray. That's the same distance from absolute white as it is from absolute black. Not white gray or black gray, but absolutely perfect gray. The grayest gray that gray can be gray. And it's around this gray that all the good grays are. The kind of grays that know what's up, that know what's down, that know how far out to get or how deep in. Absolute gray and all the good grays always know just what to say. Cause they're so close to absolutely perfect gray. Lavender is an old, old. Why? 